Fellow Nigerians, I beg, make one not allow the present governor of Abia State to see this particular video because what did they hear for inside this video? <laughs> I not believe, say, I shall you soof go talk this kind of thing. Make one just say, wait, I shall you soof. They tell the current governor of Abia State for this viral video you guys are about to watch. <laughs> Finally, I shall use not finally react to one particular update where let's say they trade on social media about Abia State and make them spread this, make them share them, make other Nigeria say everything at the year. And I'll be back. Hello, everyone. Uh, so the Sahara reporter has this breaking Abia Governor Oti admits awarding multi millionaire contract to friend who donated buses for his campaign, says government lawyers not as qualified <laughs> I, I totally understand that you know a lot of people like if you really want something to work if you are in government or whatever and you really want something to be done you usually need to go and get people from the outside to come and do the work because most times the people that are inside there don't have the requisite experience or the knowledge or the qualification to be able to do a very good job that is totally understandable but where it becomes a bit tricky it's when it's your friend it's your friend who had donated bosses so it's, it's something almost something like quick pro pro do something for you i do something for you which is usually uh what you know uh, when, they, when they're talking about corruption or conflict of interest or something not being right, that is usually, you know, what happens. It's like, for example, okay, there's a job that needs to be out there and then I have a son who can do it. And I just put my son and say, okay, he, yeah, he's qualified. Even though he's qualified to do it, even though, yes, as a Nigeria, he has a right to do it. But there's that thing when it all comes to ethics where it's like it's not morally just for you to apply give that thing to uh, for me to give that thing to my child my son when it should be out there there are a whole lot of people you know uh doing it out there but let me come to into what sahara reporters has that has reported here and and it says Sahara, uh, Sahara Bottas had exclusively reported how the state government under OT paid the firm for what was described as ne a negotiation and review of a single road contract. Abia state government has admit, admitted a, a, awarding millions of Nera contract to a law firm, Ken Ahia, San and Associates, owned by Governor uh, Alex Otis, political ally and friend, Mr. Ken Kenneth Ahia, a senior advocate of Nigeria. Sahara reporters had exclusively reported how the state government under OT paid the firm for what was described as negotiation and review of single road contracts. The fee was presented as discounted professional fees. Documents obtained by Sahara reporters dated October 5, 2023 showed correspondence between the Abia State Ministry of Justice and the law firm. The professional fee was said to be for negotiating and drafting the road contract agreement for the state's reconstruction of Portacourt Road, you know, Abba. The ministry, led by uh, the Attorney General Ike Chuku Uwana, sought the approval of government of tea for the disbursement of 50 million naira, which was brought down from 60 million naira following for that negotiation. The letter from Uwana specifically noted the complexity of the transactions justifying the fees for securing the best possible rate for the road project. In 2022, the owner of the law firm, Akia, donated two buses for Otis' governorship campaign in the 2023 election. He was also one of the lawyers who had represented the governor at the governorship election petition tribunal in the state. Speaking during an interview on Magic FM in ABBA on Friday, Oti, through his special advisor on media uh, publicity, Ferdinand Ikeoma, explained why Ahia was awarded the contract. According to him, the, ministry, the State Ministry of Justice doesn't have a senior advocate of Nigeria who could do the negotiation on behalf of the government. I'm still trying to understand, you know, do, do what negotiation really? I'm still trying to find out. What is this? So I'm trying to get to the root of the matter. What is this 
contract that was negotiated? Who did the negotiation in the first place? Who are the people who have done? Is it to draw up a contract that you're looking for someone outside? I'm sure there were people that have been drawing up contract within, you know, uh, at, at the state. Can I hear is a lawyer and you can make inquiries. It's not only Abia that he renders services to. He's a senior advocate of Nigeria. I'm not aware of any special senior advocate in the state ministry of justice. There are technical aspects to certain things that are handled by people who have the confidence. Yeah, but it, is, is this something... There might not be a senior advocate uh, of Nigeria in the uh, Abia state, you know, judiciary or what do they call it? What do they call that in you know, that office? So, in the Ministry of Justice, yeah? But that doesn't mean that this thing has to be done by a senior advocate of Nigeria. Is this something really that somebody else cannot do? It's not a case that they are, it's not litigation. I mean, that's usually when that advantage of being senior advocate or whatever comes in. If it's not a case, why really? And like I said earlier, it's all of these things are issues of conflict of uh, interest, issues of ethics and all of that. There are certain things because you are in a certain power, you just have to not do them. Or because you're in a certain position, you just have to not do them. Otherwise, it doesn't come to it where you are unfairly enriching yourself. So because you have access to the governor, you're the governor's friend, or you've donated uh, bosses before and stuff like that. So as much as possible, when one gets into position, these are things that one should just try as much as possible and not just be part of it. Because I'm just trying to re read it and she's trying to see the rigmaroing about what is the justification for this money being paid really what did you bring down what what was it that couldn't be done freely that you couldn't get you know within the government uh parasaka to be able to do it uh freely and get it done that you now have to be paying someone outside almost as if it's Okay, I need to give you bribe. I can't give you bribe. So because of that, let me give you something so that you have something to do. Even though so that something does not really have much power for the state or whatever. That's the kind of vibe it's giving. And honestly, it shouldn't be the kind of vibe, you know, that are gotten out there. Because they always say, you know, it is not enough to, uh, like they say in accounting, one must not only be above board, but one must be seen to be above but you must be seen to be above and beyond all of those things there are certain kind of confidence that is invested uh, in certain people and certain kind of belief and hope that is invested in certain people that you shouldn't do anything remarkably close to what you know the others are doing or stuff like that but i know some we said okay yeah there was so the, but yeah so those are the things so certain things they know they just gel they know they just gel it's better to just you know uh, avoid them can I hear is a lawyer and you, okay, I've, I think I've read that. When asked by the uh, reporter, maybe Sahara reporter story was fake. He said it's not fake. He was paid. You can't even scandalize the government. What we are doing is verifiable and the governments are there. Yeah, the government are there. It is, there's a, uh, a, a statement that says payment are done on day. But the thing is that, is it justified? Is that contract justified? Is it the best thing? For the people of Abia State, in everything that I think people should do, whether you're in government is something, just like when you're running your own business, is it is it the best thing that will give you profit? If if this was a private business, would this contract have been doing? Would it have been justifiable to give this contract or give this money or whatever it is? It's not that to say that oh, there's a paper uh, alluding to the fact that something has. I'm even still trying to find. Okay, what was this a negotiation that was done? How much was it brought down to? Was it worth it? Or oh, it just it's just there in uh, in paper. Why there's a state ministry of justice to secure professional services? Some residents ask why the government decided to choose a private law firm owned by his friend for such a uh, project. And these are very valid questions. Why? Why do you need telling us that uh, there's no sign in the ministry of justice? It doesn't solve anything. It's not everything that the sign does. It's not everything that the sign is needed. Yeah, a sign is uh, just that kind of a, a title. If it goes for litigation, there are cases they are called fair because they are signed up. But it doesn't mean that the work uh, it doesn't uh, needed a sign for it to be done. If it was something that could be done with the ministry of justice. Then why are you paying this money out there? That particular amount of money will go a long way in solving some of the problems, you know, of people within with, within that state.
questioning OT, a resident said, does the government, does the governor have the statutory power to unilaterally award negotiation contract when there is F and GPC that is legally constituted and imbued with the powers to negotiate contracts? Where is the evidence of competitive bidding as required by the procurement act? Exactly. These are some of the questions. So if you say that, yes, you need, yeah, okay, you can, you have a right to give this, the person has to write to do, where is that competitive bidding? Did you open it to uh, the public? Like, hey, we are looking for lawyers that are going to help us do this, you know, can you apply? Let everybody apply. Let everybody get that job on a fair, on a, on a level playing ground, not on the ground that, oh, he had helped the governor with, uh, uh, with bosses and, and, and all of that. Where is the evidence of competitive bidding as required by the procurement act? Given that Ken Ahia San is the governor's personal lawyer who has been uh, representing his private interests and also donated vehicles to his 2023 election campaign, could this be, uh, could this be divorced from conflict of interest as envisaged by the law setting up ICPC. So these are some of the things. You know, conflict of interest is very important. What the job of what is the job of the lawyers and the Ministry of Justice maintained by the state government at very high cost? How many other road projects contracts have can Akia negotiated for Abia State Government and at what cost? Was there any budgetary provision for this, you know, transaction? These are very germane questions. These are very serious questions that need to be asked and the, that the government of Alex Oti needs to answer. These are very serious, critical questions that need to be there. Governance is not just about, okay, yes, I'm doing this. Uh, no, and please, people, remember, eternal vigilance is the price that you pay for democracy. What is most important is that you must continue to hold public uh, office holders accountable and monitor their every move. Because remember what they say, absolutely power corrupts absolutely and that must not be allowed to happen thank you so much for watching bye thank you for watching that video so guys before you leave look at the top here you will see where the road subscribe just subscribe to this great platform and also put on Sean bell so that whenever we upload any video in this great platform you will be the first to see it and don't forget to share this video to all social media platforms on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram, and also on YouTube, so that everyone out there will see this video. So, guys, see you guys some other time.